Hi, everybody. It's Bill at the Beach. Things I thought of today include the animist religion, which should fit in with the Judeo-Christian ethic, and uh, what we call learned behavior. How do we learn the behavior? We imitate often other people. But once you get older, you have a lot of information. You synthesize information. You just don't use the monkey see, monkey do method. You use the interpretation of facts method. When do I change pictures? Is it at the time of day or the situation in baseball? So, having said that, I've noticed that a lot of people in different races have different spirit animals. It's not necessarily the truth, and, and you can get in a lot of trouble. But around here, I've noticed that people use the two-faced pigeon girls, often a bird, two-faced pigeon pooping on someone. That promotes not the eagle, but the bull. You must use the bull spiritual symbol. So two-faced pigeon pooping is bull crapping on something. The symbol is bull, and that's the bull crap. As for the monkey people, you know who you are. If it doesn't mean anything, didn't insult anyone, didn't want to. But those learn so fast from people that say, don't do that, know what you're doing. Those promoted monkey to owl. Okay, what you're looking at there is not an old monkey. You're looking at an owl in Burma. Hope you enjoy. That will not promote the ego either. Engineers and scientists use units to measure different things. Distance is measured in meters or feet, depending on if you're using the metric or English system. Recently, it's come up that we need new units for things. Now, let me just start where this should begin. When you had bells, church bells, they were loud. So sound was measured in bells first, then decibels, less of the full church bell sound. Horses, or horsepower, HP, was a unit of engine performance. That's the recent addition of an engine would do in horses. So then you had, of course, candles, which is a measure of candela, or light, or luminescence. Now we have a new thing. That is personal stress, measured in tugs. How much is the world pulling at you to do different things? We need to also measure sweetness. That is measured in fudge bars. Okay, how many fudge bars is it? From maple syrup, honey, molasses, I'm down with it. So now we have another one. That's the success scale. On the self, and subjected to laws of success and failure. Success is measured in upsides, and failure is measured in dumps. I hope you can use this to help you appreciate and learn where you are in life. This has been another Bill of Himself. Thank you. Engineers and scientists use units to measure different things. Distance is measured in meters or feet, depending on if you're using the metric or English system. Recently, it's come up that we need new units for things. Now, let me just start where this should begin. When you had bells, church bells, they were loud. So sound was measured in bells first, then decibels, less of the full church bell sound. Horses or horsepower, HP was a unit of engine performance. That's the recent addition of an engine would do in horses. So then you had, of course, candles, which is a measure of candela or light or luminescence. Now we have a new thing. That is personal stress measured in tugs. How much is the world pulling at you to do different things? We need to also measure sweetness. That is measured in fudge bars. Okay, how many fudge bars is this? From maple syrup, honey, molasses, I'm down with it. So now we have another one. That's the success scale. On the self, and subjected to laws of success and failure. Success is measured in upsides, and failure is measured in dumps. I hope you can use this to help you appreciate and learn where you are in life. This has been another Bill of Himself. Thank you. Years ago, 
I was asked to write down my interests on a college record form. And I foolishly suggested soccer and politics. I used to love commenting on all the events of the world. And I thought I would be a commentator or at the very worst, a political advisor. Those dreams never happened. I found the comfort and safety of science to lead my way. But on that yearbook, it will say soccer and politics. To remind you, more a commentator on TV or an advisor should someone need assistance on what to do with a very detailed situation. I have good general ideas, the implementation, well, that certainly is the hard part, and convincing people to vote you, vote you or vote for you, that's the tough part. Thanks, and enjoy your college success, your high school success. Many songs occurred to me today. I did my day in music today, from the beginning song. Water on my head, I got out of bed. I have the water dripping down. I am now going to go into town. It's the water on my head song. And remember to do the song, The Light in the Dark. That's a good one. And then, of course, CCCP. CCCP. Okay, then. Ish, 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 ish. Wish, 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 ish, ish, ish. They go wish and fish. Okay? That's one. Then you have those things. Ducking down the road. Every single day. Doing this and signing that. Walking down the road. Okay. Now that's the theme. And then you go. You know, uh, to all the people at Bach Walk by, you get to sing their theme song. So, you know, there's another ish, 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 black ish, short hair, the lights get back to blocking in, you know, to the uh, very side parts of your day. So, to do musical composition, read your city and sing about what you see. Thank you. So anyway, I wanted to intersperse the boys themselves with Cindy's room. Okay, my sister. This is all being done so you can take part in the actual show. So anyway, Kristen Shaw, or you call her Louise, from Bob's Burger, is kind of said, while I was doing the one on the head song, she was saying, I peed a little because people were asking what you were doing in the morning. I was singing the song. She had to pee a little. So interspersed, you have Cindy's room and the sister, Mr. Shaw, who is uh, doing Louise on Bob's Burger and uh, another show. She's very, very busy. She was also one of the pages of tennis on 30 Rock. So this is a fee to get the sister and the Louise character back to be interspersed at himself, throw things her room, Cindy's room, in the middle. So the point of the day was about vision, part two, same show, part two, same show. Yes, if someone has the eye in the sky, like a soldier, sailor, walking down the street, running to people they need. So, anyway, if someone is telling them, don't go in there, a sighted person might think it looks fine, and disagree, I think the guy's messing with them on the eye in the sky. So the not sighted people are trying to help the sighted people, the sighted people, and that conflict wrecks the world. Okay, sighted people will not listen to the voice in their head from the eye in the sky. That's it. So, don't help sighted people with the same breath that you help the non sighted with. I certainly hope that makes sense. That's right, Louise. I hear you peed a little. Okay, 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 okay. 
You don't want to know what I said about the walking down the road every single day. Doing this and I ain't got no name. You don't got no thing. I ain't got a name. You don't have no position. I don't know what to do. But, see the party. There's a Spike Lee movie called The Mole Better Blues. So, uh, I made up the song, I got the mole better blues, I got the mole better blues. Look around, and get the mole better blues. Hey, Bill, what's more better? I got a phone taking pictures, got a phone taking pictures, with the blues on my hand taking pictures of the blues. I got the news, I got the mole better blues. That is more better. Man had to develop pictures in the past. When you develop, you got to grow. You got to grow with development. That is more better. That ain't more better. That ain't more better. Taking a picture all the time makes you think about a rhyme. When I'm dancing in the street, I know just what to eat. Just eating and dancing, singing and prancing. You know I got the more better booze. I got the more. What's more better? Singing and dancing and taking a photo on your phone? That's more better. You got the more better booze. You got the more better booze. Tell me. What's more better? So anyway, when you got the mold better blues, you got the mold better blues. Hey man, tell me the news. Well, I tell you the crystal guys of water is two bucks down. It's crystal clean and I'm drinking it down. That ain't no better. The clean the water lake, put it by the shake, shake it on work, and have it for your supper. Mm. That's more better. No doubt of water. So what I say to you, you know what to do. When you got the more better blues, you better know what to do. Mm. Hey man, tell me the news. Hey cheese, what do you say, me? Together we make meat and cheese. These guys, they were doing a film, wondering about him, doing everything like it was doing. But, but if they had a goat, or they had a cow, they could get milk. Okay, they could make a fire. They could make heated milk. A little bit of vinegar. And the curd was separate from the way you can cheese meat. Heat the milk, vinegar, okay. That's the curd, the fire in the curd, the separate. Cheese hard, a little strainer action. Then it comes off and hand there. Pour it in that cream hard. Squeeze out the extra way. Let it dry for an hour in the, in the middle of a ball of cheese hard. One hour it's all cheese. That's what you call a little cheese. Okay. Now you keep it put it you put it in some sort of blender, masher, whatever you got to do there. That'll whip up into a cream cheese. That's the right one. And you can also use a rich cream, or you can use a lean milk. I just don't leave that still, but you can do that. Alright. Try to make some in kind of stuff and just get your hands to make sense. Throw lemon juice and baby juice. Pop. There's the one. Oh, same deal. Squeeze it in. That's cheese. Take care of me. Hi. It's me again. I thought I'd comment on what's called the sub and the up today. Many people know the nations of the world prepared for war. After the Second World War that went nuclear, the United States built missile silos. They also be built bunkers for people to live in. When I said the shove in the up, some people took to the basements. All the countries in the world have these things now, the basements. That's all I was talking about. Some are racist, some are not. Some are anti-Semitic, some are not. Every now and then, they will make raids on the people that live nicely on the face of the earth. People that tried college, people that tried to work in an office, often found themselves victims of the criminal raiders and the governments that live underground. Which would you rather be? 
living under the ground or attempting to improve the face of the earth. They have everything. They have every life. They have women. They have stored seeds from everything, stored human seed, and they could make a whole generation back to life in 20 years when the children grow up. They could supply them with lives and computer files and everything. It would get them back up along with the crops. So, I hope everyone that lives on the top heeds the warning. And those living under, be good to us, please. Okay, so you've met my sister. My sister. Now let's not forget heat, wanting, finding this world. I switched that up. Or this other one. Because she wanted to hear the word. And I'm going to give it. You know, I, I like cool days to the moon. And it's sweeter than cherry. Oh, oh, honor, yeah. Deliver us the good and bring us to the truth. The good wisdom of peace and terror. The long and practice of the man for me. The only thing I have to add is that cheaters never cost me to the young man. We need a new expression that you can use. Cheaters blank, blank, but cheaters never blank. So we have to decide how to treat the cheater in today's world. Do you believe you're only cheating yourself? Hey, let me have an old fashioned. And then, you know, tell the reason for it. Just say something like this. Along with being entertaining a wizard, I'm a master of that town. My status page, my Facebook, the right status is here. If it's still around, you get there from Master of that town. And this is the one for 430. The nature of the read changed in our era of equality. Security cameras looking for hidden guns make the human look like a skeleton. I finally am a security ghoul. Tells me he hasn't seen me with skin ever. He assumed I was more dark-skinned based on comments. Height also couldn't be determined. And the non-basketball-looking guy found himself wise with Goliath looking for the other well-spoken giant. So the reads of which we speak involve eating, relationship fruition, altered states to rest and excrement. The song version grew fun and absurd in a reduction into absurd fashion. The unsaid part of the song would be the bank and finance portion of life. To note, Altering oneself with as your story, desire to relate your story, not just pleasure pills, but pain, service, and work. To comprehend fully, find simple words and write the paper. The struggle for E, R, F, A, S, and X, C, R. With the conclusion or running theme of the financing issue. Examples of hospitals and jails work. Apology to the true blue spirit here. Sung in sort of a Nicki Minaj fashion when he just got with it. Who takes drugs and shit? Who takes drugs and shit? The man. Who takes drugs and shit? Who takes drugs and shit? Enjoy your book. The world asked about the finest things built in the USA and the world. From Haditha and Al Kindi hospitals in Iraq to Hadassah Hospital in Israel, doctors without borders needed a place to operate. So, pause. When you travel, please ask for a tour of the hospital in the country you visit. Could you allow a message to African and South American and Russians? Just allow it, will you? Two machines need your eyes. 
the CT scanner and the MRI machine. So what we have goes out to all. Medical centers in the USA honestly hire persons from all over the world. We just need you to realize that we have very sophisticated machines to look inside the body. I hope that you can see them in your way and accept our technology for preserving and improving life for all of us. Thank you. Look, I don't know if you've seen it, but I attempted to start uh, a YouTube channel at the very outset of YouTube. There was no real way to do it. That's how the audio video blog stuff got started with all of us just, uh, getting ready. And then my guy from Illinois went to get us on YouTube, and that was purchased by Google. But the question is, were you ever on a YouTube channel? And the show was called The Adventures of Mustard Stain. Everyone loves the mustard stain, the mustard stain, and the mustard stain when he's given out. He's got some pain. Dang. Well, I surely was excited. I went in to shake out my little bit of the field. Started uh, going in with him about this. You know, that someone who's trying to kill someone in a cellar, someone did something bad, and the call forwarding came to me. So I was going to say, I must be that color and stand up and say, answer, don't say, they just make people mad. So what I did was, I said, well, with all this going on, there's a terrorism trying to get to all segments of the population. I had myself a cheeseburger fries and a diet coke. I know I shouldn't. That's my cholesterol. That's my vegetarian credibility. But I don't know what to say. I'm not a bad man. I've had some bad chickens. I hope you enjoy the day. Thank you for the week. I heard she feed a little. Thank you, Louise. I'll take it from here. Did you talk to Cindy Lou, too? Anyway, I was trying to explain to Cindy Lou, okay, what had happened, and she's like, I don't know. They want you are Israeli, you would be Israeli. I said, yes, that's true. But Jews come from all over the world. She didn't really care because that was Israel, like America. You wouldn't separate uh, the German-American from the French-American, really. Once they're American, they're many. But, let me just try it anyway. Because a million Russian people, including high-tech scientists, moved to Israel. Okay? By this point, they've had Russian units in the Israeli military, including levels as high as general for the Russians that are in the Israeli military. Somewhere in that silly Russian head of it, they want to do bad things to the United States. <clears throat> they don't realize the tight link between the buying the tanks, buying the airplanes, having the military advisors, not getting it, really. <clears throat> so if you ask, you know, for assistance from Israel on a domestic situation in the United States, we're liable to get wild by these people who wish to do us harm. Okay, so when they say it's not Israel in Israel, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my God, Cindy Lou. Oh my God. Are you going to tell the colonel? <laughs> so, uh, please, did you tell people, did you tell the guy that went to California that was stay with him that was a cousin? Did you tell him we were Russian, Jewish immigrants, by any chance? Would that be accurate? All right. 
I mean, Dad, he was born in the city, right here in, in the country that we're in. And you know how it's happened. You know that's true. And I was born here, and you were born here. We have nothing to do with the old country in the whole world. So if someone, you know, some city clown, you know, there's some official bureaucrat from a major urban area that loves urban music, was to say, where should we go to figure you out? It wouldn't be Israel's Russian population. Are you involved with that at all, getting the Russians from Israel to involve themselves in my computer? I know I'm a brilliant computer engineer, but this, this is ridiculous. They want to destroy all of America. We can't let that happen, we. And we said, you see this show? One thing. What was that name of the guy that, that like, was like a brother to you? That went to do the summer internship and live in Israel? That cool Israeli guy, you know. You know, he had the Russian name. Do you think it's possible that there's a Bill and Louise living in Israel, duplicating us with all the nieces and nephews? with all the Russian immigrants looking for a line. What I'm guessing is that not only are they doing that intern, they're doing everyone he knows from a Russian perspective in Israel. So not only are we chewed out by that niece Dawn, who's an imbecile, that niece Venus, or whatever her name is, she's an imbecile, and that guy Ray, he's an imbecile, not because the kids weren't educated of his, but because they're immigrants from Russia in Israel who know nothing about the American mind or American people. Oh, this stinks. This totally stinks. And I thought the girl was an imbecile. She herself has suffered mental, mental lapses, you know, that girl that came back. She wanted to make us the shakshuk, the sadistic, eggs and salsa. What are we having again? Nothing and like it. They're supposed to make the sabra sound. That's the cucumbers, tomatoes, onions on a nice pita with the tahini made out of crab bean sauce. Okay. So, how to see ya. Bye bye. I have to laugh at the, the success of my website. First month is up in 26 countries and over 500,000 visits. Not unique, but the 100,000 web people called Hicks internationally because I was called. Okay, so I never was really important. I worked, I had a little job in computers and got my degree. But once I was a web success about the, the, the car design that was a linear propulsion gear car, and I, it, was, it was a success to do video blogs, people seemed to want to set me up internationally. So all this guy ever was for that is called the Gambit Pong. Read up on what's called the Queen's Gambit in chess, international chess players. Say, what if you make the smallest oak tree in the forest into the biggest? So I'm still an oak tree. I understand that. I love being the big oak. But what happened was when people say, do you have anybody available that knows what they're doing? They went to this gambit oak, gambit pond small minor league player, you know what I'm saying, YouTube channel notwithstanding. So Louise, I know I'm a big oak, send you little big oak stuff, oak tree in my way kind of thing, but they're really after someone else. So what I suggest is if you're after the real deal, if you really want to take us on, you need to look at the professionals, the doctors, the lawyers, the hospital workers, and the politicians. The pampered athletes can't help you that much, but they love this country. 
okay, that who owns the country to decide such things that you're looking to change. I say go out and get enough people and vote. But if you want to take it on, that's who to do it. They stand upon, can't lead you to the, the well of truth that you still see. Bye. So what, what is she seeing here? Is she just hanging around Louise? Blowing his paycheck? I don't know. You know, there he is. And it, the, the women at work are like blowing his donuts. You know, because he's getting kind of big in the middle. I should just dunk him donuts. You know, just too lots of meat. Try dunking. Special muffins for special people. Okay, I said it. I meant it. I love the Dunkin' stuff. Not exclusively, but uh, I don't know. I've known to be coffee around. So just that. Guy having a Colombian on the list. Colombian coffee is there with Starbucks. Starbucks and Dunkin'. That's all I do all day, isn't it? I go out to coffee. But, you know. That's just it. People do what people do. Glad I was the open and I could be. I was glad to be an internet success, too. Do you think we should do this more often? You got the mold better blue. You got the mold better blue. So Rupert took home when the terrorists came to town. They said, what if we took out the black people? And so the word had spread by the internet to many countries, including Nigeria, South Africa, Ghana, Mozambique, the Pitties, hello, Biki, hello, Ghana, hello, Nigeria, hello, Africa. But you see, they cannot let this happen, you see. So the United States and the urban areas took on the man would do this with very, very poor techniques for circling the lines that would say this. You cannot have a lion without checking for the manager, okay? This is what goes on now to this day. A million people came into our country from the country of Africa as defense for the former slaves that lived in the United States. They are former slaves and they are dumb. But Africa would defend them. Did you just call the people? I did because I am a good actor. They're not dumb. They're some of your smarter people. But you see, Barack Obama was not a descendant of slaves. He was a descendant of a descendant of the states and a, a man from Kenya with a white woman. It is something in your blood that you are a slave. But we will not let them keep surrounding the line with many, many people taking away his things until he dies. You have confused him with spirit animal of a lion. After 40 years old, he went with the spirit animal of two of his fine winning friends. Lisa, he was known as a horse, and he was horse in right? In Cindy Woods, he was a duck. Every duck has a bill. Get it? Duck bill. Ha <laughs> ha And, you know, Rachel, I was more of a squirrel. Some small pitch. Please, please, sir. Don't the people. That's all. You're not partial. Oh, God. I'm not using it. You are a shell. Okay. When, uh, when approached, it's a weird face time in my life by people of all different countries, religions. I once said, Master Sauce is for the whole world. So they extracted a pound of flesh for them. So they discovered a code that that Russian said. 
Russian Americans don't want any backlash for protecting interests. More Russians, the less chance of nuclear war. So, uh, but what they do is, the Russians will say, be bad to Jews. Jews need to die. And they say, what do you think of it? And when they say that to me, it activates the Russians in Israel. Do you believe that? So the secret network of Homeland Security people is schooled to the thinking, we will now activate the Israeli defense for anti nuclear This activates the Russian coalition throughout the world to destroy America, known as Bruce Smith in the vernacular. So, to see on the headquarters show the catastrophe, to see you. The problem is this, it is this, the problem. Yeah. I said, there's no news in the truth, and no truth in the news. That's tough, the news is, you see. Former newspapers in the Soviet Union. Did he really say that? I believe that he did. That would never, ever go out of the American television. But I knew them. For sure. So yes, I did. So I said, one day, I'm going to study German because I want to sp speak like my grandmother taught me to speak. So we were going to do the story of Bill and L. Bill was going to play the Jewish guy and L was supposed to be German, a forbidden word, acting it out the story of Bill and L. I got so mad at her in German, which what I thought would be her in Jewish, but I got so mad at her in German, they said, well, we'll just use you as the German and make El Jewish. It was just, it was so heartbreaking for me to lose my ethnic softness. <laughs> but you see, when this happens, it can work as long as the two give up and play ping Because those dances of German and you end in a death spiral. So, yes.
I mentioned all the international folks. We mentioned it. We all mentioned it. And uh, they want to take on America. They use the matchup zone technique. There's five bills. There's ten bills. In the ten different countries, they want to take on America. Give my Africa. Give my Europe. Give my Asia. Let's do So, anyway, I don't know how you're going to hear it, but I would just say, today we've discussed deception of the body. So there's no ways. Yes. We have to do this. Okay. Make a circle on the belly, cut all around. Remove the flesh. Put it in the ground. 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 Disembow. A piece at a time. A piece at a time. Put it in the bag. Put it in the bag. Feed it to the dog. Feed it to the dog. What do dogs eat? Dogs eat that. The inside area of a person. And the lion, you see, it, it's right this area of the soft belly. So they, they have, they're they really thinking about cannibalism today. I thought I'd share that. Because uh, we have the section people, the hands, that's the legs, that's the knee, goes the hand, the flesh belly, you know, you go to the doctor, except for the liver, the Jewish belly. And all I have to say is, please, please, why did they do this? What am I, chop liver? Hey, get on you, man, please. Oh, my God. And then the, the rump roast people making an Italian beef. The little, little oil burks off under the ribs. Don't forget the dry rub and slow cook. Oh, my God, Bill. I know. He ate cheeseburger. He ate cheeseburger. I had the cheeseburger yesterday. Got to give you the line you saw it. In that episode, now I'm going... As I'm eating, is this market? Okay, bye bye, Norman. Today's point is how to do animation for anybody's thing. The key when I've done my animation is to use uh, the TNG format. I use a program called Pictures. It's not in, in release anymore. You'll have to try to find something like that cutting and pasting work wonderfully well, and you can do layered approaches. And don't forget your perspective, especially on my loose open. That's what uh, what they used to do. That. That's each individual thing. Boop, 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 until it's big. So uh, I use uh, some software to do movie making. And this movie making was the original. And then they had this really cool company. So I NCH software, an NCH Family of products that come to Australia now open in Denver, the Denver. So I do all the uh, video production myself, and uh, you know I have a YouTube channel. You know those that want to try it on TV, contact Kevin James to try it himself. Say something about food. Say something about computers. Kevin is up on Kevin from the Kevin's and Wade show. They haven't done it. I guess that's me. Eat it all, eat it all, with a spoon. <laughs> Not the composition of your day. What is a sanctuary city? It comes up that Chicago, San Francisco, and New York accept the gifts from all over the world. We love our Chinese restaurants, our Indian restaurants, our Pakistani restaurants, our Muslim mosques, our Jewish temples. All of this works in a cosmopolitan way, including the African people from, you know who you are, the Bikis, to the Ghanese, to the South Africans, to the Nigerians. Everyone comes to enjoy our sanctuary city. It's one big party. Sure, there are problems. Sure, if you accept the fact that at any given moment, you might be under someone else's gun, then you get it. You get it. You get it. Good people are good people. That's what the sanctuary city means. You had to know what was in this guy. 
And I have to say to you, you broke this thing you bought. The CBS family in Rolla is 7 to 8 months. It's not affiliated with the network, I'm just saying. You know, if I were Kevin James, I would have said things that you would have comprehended. I had something called a mind. A mind. You broke it, you bought it. Something called real stuff. Food, sex, drugs, and food. So anyway, in Spanish, I was just, what does dinner mean? It's like you're going to bring your son for the shoot up or something. That's good, they hurt somebody. They can hurt somebody with that. They shouldn't be more careful. Just to uh, let alone. That's a bagel. It's bacon. It's not getting a bagel. It's bacon. Wow. No. So I wanted to just make a point about sanctuary cities and pride in community. Let's say you have pride in your neighbor. In the suburbs, I'm from the suburbs originally, not really city suburbs. They, they would say, what does Johnson have? You know, Johnson's double gone the suburbs. But you know, I'm in the sanctuary city. And when they get a guy, any guy that looks like them, acts like them, it's pride. You know, it's not hubris. It's just really love. They love the guy. They do it for men and women. But a job. They worked hard. It was the first one to get to college. And it's just so impressive. Have we lost something in the summer? Maybe we should have more pride. Maybe we should just be accepted as, as our self. Okay. Sitting at the dock of the bay, watching the clouds roll away. I made it. It was a long trip, but I made it. Hi, I'm out. I'm gonna go and see my pal. Uh, take care of my teeth. One fell out. It was a what I wanted to say, I wanted to be your your favorite YouTube pal, you know, just to make my sound and then you could hear it, okay? I had what's called a, an issue with uh, duplication, as I said, in different languages. So, uh, what well, the story is, is that uh, I was uh, diagnosed with diabetes by the naval ROTC in school. And the guy stood up and he said, you're not welcome in the Navy. So he was very loud about it, was very honest and open. I, my blood sugar was 112 that day. Before that, I don't get to serve in the Army or the Armed Forces or anything else. Not an objector. I just never was a soldier. Everyone says, you're soldiers for the industrial computer people. Yeah, we, I was raised on McWright and McPain back in the day. I don't know why you guys still laugh. And our floppy disk one. They'll do a floppy disk somewhere. Thanks, and then, you know, take the transportation. Be there in a bit. Bye. Well, about to join in the Navy, the ROTC. In our year, it was peace time. The Iran situation had resolved with the 50 hostages. Iran was resolved. We were just supposed to advance the cause of computers. We never were going to get actual materials to do stuff. So behind me there, that's the martial arts studio that people go to. Okay, so I took uh, martial arts self-defense, but I uh, I only became a green belt. So it's still a don't mess with the situation, but whatever. Oh, it's my chef. I had the slurpy and burpy song, slurpy and burpy. When you have the slurpy, you will have the burpy. 
sunshine on this day. Cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. Uh, get a stroke birth. Like a 7 Eleven. Hey, man. That's good news. So by this time, you're probably wondering, Bill, do you have any children? Are you a married man? Well, no, I was never married and I have no children. I had a relationship and in 1993, but I had a series of events that would, would just shock the individual so greatly that uh, I don't get to talk about anything that's happened since 1993 in terms of the relationship because there weren't any. People knew because of the Navy ROC seat check in college about my diabetes. And uh, so, first of all, the IVF story, that's made up because you wouldn't take a donation from a fellow who has diabetes. And I just... Uh, I blame my name and I blame my religious background, but I never, I never hit the uh, hit on the marriage relationship game, and you know, so I have no kids. So uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your videos. Okay, so this is the story of Bill's wife in pictures. In pictures. So in 42 seconds, you go from Bill being born up to the, the current date, effectively, as of 2017. And we can see that uh, Bill was a prayer-haired fellow, with blue eyes, and, well, just sort of grew into the figure you see before you. Thank you. And uh, that's the, uh, what Bill would have had a kid to carry his own image. Yeah. Okay. As it happens, I have ideas. You can hold it against it if you want, but you, you're gonna. But you watch this to get a view of this person. Speaks. You listen, and maybe you agree, maybe you don't. But I thought, well, if you put it on, you hear some sound. You hear the person make diverse sounds and express divergent viewpoints. Perhaps me very own. So the point is. They, they want to build a border wall with Mexico. First of all, if you don't like Trump, I get it. You know, you can't even see him as anything but a god to you. Because this border wall thing scares you. But he wants to stop the guy, as I figured it, from taking on the desert with his two feet. You and me, we live here. We wouldn't be able to march and walk where there's no trail and park ranges. Okay, he's telling you he believes the fellow is carrying guns and drugs. I intend to believe him on that, that it's the guns and drugs. I mean, if it's just trying to go and get a job and for a better life, I understand that. We need to have the Mexico Trail, a couple things, Superhighway, San Diego to El Paso to Brownsville, Superhighway right on the border. Okay. Second, we have to have these really cool water spots. Wash your hands. Let's say, love and love. And and then they'll come up to wash their hands. There'll be a little camera, the selfie stand, take a picture, and it'll say, "What is your name?" And then it will it will take their name, and it will give them an ID card that says Mexico Trail. Okay, you know, spit it out, or the the guy will come out in some really cool costume from his little booth and hand them their picture a guy that they would trust, and they, so they have an ID with a name when they take the Mexico trial, okay? It's not that hard. We don't want to be, they, that can also be the legitimate borders, the guy that does this. So you got your name, there's your pictures, your selfie picture, okay? Then money can come from the border wall. Again, 
goes somewhere. And anyway, if you have a relative, why don't you have some oh, intermixture? Oh, it's good. 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 I am glad you watch the show on the YouTube channel. This is the interview edition answered honestly by me, Bill. Where were you born? I was born in Chicago. Where did you go to school? I went to school in the suburbs, in the south suburbs. 187th to 191st side of uh, whatever that suburb is in Chicago. Where did you go to college? I attended the University of Michigan and achieved my bachelor's degree in computer engineering. Most people take five years. I took four and a half years. I worked in industry for several companies, including two Fortune 500 companies, doing software engineering, primarily with Windows and OS2, using the C programming language as well as C++. I've advanced with Microsoft platform all the way, as well as I've been in internships. So that's what I did to get my background, to do all of this stuff on the computer that many people still find difficult. Then I did the website and continue to do Mastersoft.com, including the mechanical engineering design for the linear propulsion units. It's been a slow life because I don't have a mate. I don't practice anything uh, in terms of homosexuality, and my heterosexual life was very young. It's not really an interview, I just thought I'd tell you on the phone. Because by now, I feel over care. So more interview questions. Do you travel? I haven't left this particular part of the state of Illinois since 2004. Okay, so I was traveling to California that year. I have a relative out there that I was visiting. So, to check on it, uh, the Lakers were playing the Timberwolves in a very upsetting contest of basketball in the playoffs. So, if that was happened to be the first few months of 2005, well, that's all I so that's 12 years of effectively not leaving this particular county. I've been to Europe once, and I've been to Israel three times, the last time in 1986. What if you said so what? I thought you wanted to hear some language. So that's it. It's your turn. Louise. Has, uh, has worked up some things, so I hope you like them. And uh, remember, she's the leaves with birds. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. You got the bird, bird, bird. Give us the word. And one more thing about the interview question. What do you watch on television? Okay, I don't really get to get into it every time. I had a cable TV, it worked out to be $125 a month, and my cool financier friend said you can't use it anymore. So I had to turn it off because he said, you'll just watch another baseball game, and I don't want you to do that. So I, I turned in my cable for some rabbit ears, and uh, I still watch uh, the ball game when I can, when it's not basketball season, it's hockey season, when it's not hockey season, it's baseball then football. 
you know, a lot of the bowling games moved over to the uh, ESPN network, and so I, I don't have access to the bowl games or as many baseball games. But it was sports only because no one would bother you if you had it on. They wouldn't say, excuse me, what is the capital of Syria? And is there going to be a problem? Well, it's still Damascus, and I don't know, but stay out of Aleppo, man. It's, it's an east side, west side thing, and, and the west side's like, not good. East side, if you took the cameras there, you never would know what was going down. The all the airstrike thing, the poison gas. So, another example of a man coming down on another man. Oh, you got some old better blues, don't you? I sure do, man. Tell me the news. And the Big Bang Theory. And Mom. And Kevin can wait. And uh, the voice. Just because I heard it was popular. But I, I don't watch the Dancing with the Stars program. You know, I, I just am not that cool about the two and stuff. They're just uh, judging people on their movement. If you dance for fun, that's cool. If you sing for fun, sort of like the voices, I get it. You get the audience to get into it. But dancing, you know, you go out and dance, I would say. You're just not hip to it. So uh, that is not it. And then news, I watch a lot of news and information. Uh, the Charlie, you know, Charlie, uh, and some Charlie Rose movies. He really gets in depth with people in the It's most of most of anything I was a TV I said Bill Moyes and I want to some other history of these on as well I mean you know if I don't know everything I know about I have to leave it for the kids or the you know the uh, the threat matrix is a good show and uh, this is the guy that watched a lot of the war covers on TV from Bosnia and Herzegovina which from in Serbia now what is your city like? Bosnia Bosnian Serbs. So if you're coming to get me, it's not black, it's not a white. Serbians are taking the building. Okay. <laughs> it, it, it sounds like Russian to you. It's not. It's Serbian, the hated enemy of the Russians. Blues, of course, in a dumb comedy where I can just relax and be stupid. Are you a stupid? I gotta be honest with you, I had a hard go with the relationship that ended cold in 93. Who the hell is Rachel out there and your daughter Amelia? So I don't know, the internet, the Facebook, your sending and your stuff. But uh, congratulations, kudos to you and John, uh, her husband. But uh, yeah, she was studying a PhD. She said, you know, you're good, you're smart. But, you know, when I'm with you, I feel dumb. I'm getting a Ph.D., she said, and went on and did so. So anyway, what happened was uh, the rest of it, um, judge me as you wish, but I'm the subject of uh, a condition in my family. My father had it, my mother had it, has it, and my mother-in-law has it. It's called Munchausen's the Cox. You see, they can't love an intelligent person. They can't love a well-spoken person. They can't love a college graduate. But if you're sick, if you have to go see a, a doctor for your head, or you have a doctor for your body, there's nothing but the kindest, most loving, gentle creatures. But if you address them well, what's wrong with the guy? He just hates your guts for being well. So there, I'm a victim. What, is, what do they treat you for? He's the victim of Munchausen's by proxy, and he would see what's called the city gun if he doesn't go talk to him. You judge me ever, however you want on the, on the issue. Um, you know, everybody takes a bill for something, and, you know, I got sick with the, the diabetes and, and unhealthy chain <laughs> coverage, SUV. <laughs> So uh, they managed some money for me too, so I love them, love them for helping, but they don't have the great sums. Yeah, that's good.
disagreeing to that to the extortion, and that they don't have the choice. I would not, I'm kind of strange. Blanche, Blanche, yes, Stella, Stella! It's from the street coming into that. Here's Blanche and, and, and uh, Stella go at it and push down it. It says, what's your ass on it? I'm kidding. Thank you, perfect person. Bye-bye. Okay, a funny thing happened when I went to school. He said, I want my ride in space. The shuttle was flying in, we had a new craft now, we had the station up out. So I want my ride. Right now, the uh, station is uh, on both in Russian and English, and any other language, someone goes up, but she has to speak both Russian and American English. Or any kind of so, uh, what uh, you needed to translate to the Russian cosmonauts from me, they okay, always tell me about the next thing to think about this good air up there, uh, you know, when you reach it up and stuff, the, the things that you think about. We're breathing quite a lot. Okay, Bill is an engineer, he does not take to speak. His diabetic condition will prevent him from going to space. So the conditions of hypertension, hypercholesterol, not the same. I'm glad John Glenn got to go at his age, but I do not seek to pay for a personal trip to state. Uh, I'm any more shocked and I will not be a good candidate to go to the state, in spite of what you're telling people. My personal philosophy. If you wanted to have a conversation with me in other languages, including Russian, or German, or any other languages of the world, this thing they call Mastavism, okay, the, the great leader of the Mastavist movement, uh, he used to say, philosophy without God is immoral. And I've noticed that only the faithful in, in the cross country in star countries are able to understand what it means to cross borders and to speak to people as if they had a good, faithful background. Okay? Not saying your comrade, your country, in other countries means when you use your sound, you're going to be misleading, lying, and untrue. Redundancy. That's a tune Okay? What she set out to do when you speak with me from your conscience is immoral. You accept the fact that you are not bound to God, that you are not what you call me, a slave to not. I'm an engineer. I don't have anything to say to you in your language. If you have something to say to me, I'll try my very best to comprehend you if you get a translator and put it into American. English, okay? I don't want to know you. I was glad Nikhil was translated and his comrade to tell me about the air and other situations in space. The word for space I know. I know some other words in uh, the Russian language. But I myself have been extremely vocal. Now as far as other countries, Japan and China, all these kids are trained to say, well, they're just like us. Well, they're not actually believers in the same religion, and they have a strong country. The thing I like to say in the West and in this language is, man does not live by bread alone. It's not meant to be dividing of us, but you will find that in Japan and China, for example, is real too, that this phrase is absolutely incorrect. 
they have so long for the fact we live by bread alone, we live by bread alone, okay? Which means sometimes you put the, the, the food down and you have your love, okay? This thing that we call love. I can't convince you that you're not love. I can't convince you that you're not a slave to nice. But I do know that the very least, if I'm not considered your country, if I'm not considered your religion, you will attempt to deceive me full time. That is the reason you open your mouth to me, is to deceive me. Okay? I have incorrectly proceeded with someone who is not told in the area of love. I'm not sure why my countrymen of the Christian and Jewish, Jewish religion as well as Muslim continue on having me address you this way. You seem to be misbehaving in our country. Now don't say uh, use your sound for anything but truth and justice. Our way may not have you yet. We'll try our best to win you over. Da, me, Horschel, Nasser Dani. I said, stay good and have a good day. Bye bye. My English. Oh, rubbish. Garbage. What did you want to be when you grew up? I grew up with a brother. We were back and forth all the time. He wanted to be a debater. He wanted to argue. And when I was very young, he used to always go into this mode of operation called the risk analyst. You see, there was no such thing as a safe haven, job, career, or path. He wound up freaking out at his University of Chicago days and heading overseas to live. Now works as a marketing engineering slash rep for an air conditioner company out of Israel. He travels to Scotland, the UK, Germany, the Middle East, and the United States selling air conditioning systems. But if I wanted to join the circus, some people thought the type was. The tigers could eat you. You'll be unhappy. You'll have no love. You'll have no home. Okay. That was a not really an option for me. So what did you want me to do? Go off and join the circus. And that was the response. Okay. Let's say it was, you know, you wanted to be in the Bloomingdale's chamber. That's retail. No one will, will buy it from you. Uh, there'll be lesser options. Uh, they don't make a lot of money. And uh, you'll just be a slave to paycheck. And, um, and then people will know how to get you and find you and you won't be happy. So all of these situations worked out that I'm unhappy. Every time I would say to the people that say, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I said, boy, I want to be an astronaut. You know, so they wrote everything down in what's called the Book of Life for me. And I was undecided and I kept saying 20 different things. So, but I didn't say professional athlete because I didn't think I could make it at that level, but I enjoyed the playing, playing the baseball, some of the football soccer. But, uh, so anyway, so I had this inner cynic with me about career paths. What I settled on was not the astronaut, you know, not uh, the, the designer, not any of these things, but it was to be a great writer. Okay, I had I had said television. They said no, we can't do that, and that's what happened there. So one more thing, uh, there's this thing by the the cynic, the financier, uh, air conditioning guy, who says if you want to be a writer, write. Okay, if you want to be a zookeeper, get a cat, a snake, and a dog, and then you're caring for these animals, and you're a zookeeper. Okay. Oh, want to be an artist? There's your, your canvas paint. Okay? You want to be a computer program? There's a computer program, a computer. Okay? 
what he doesn't understand that what I consider normal people when they make a wish, they would like all that's involved in being a TV star, a writer, a painter, all of these things, a designer, they would like to have their designs built, the life of celebration of a person's life by being an actor or a TV star, all of the accoutrement, the extras that go with it, they would want. But not this guy. This guy is told as they come. So what he did was, he said, what would Bill do if he had nothing to do uh, with real life, running away to live on a kibbutz in Israel wasn't adding up to him then. So he joined the company, to which he doesn't make very much money. His volunteer services make the kibbutz about 8,000 a year. But for which he gets to hop on an airplane and go to England and Germany and the United States on a company dollar. Also, the kibbutz makes $8,000. So I said to him about that, how much do you make? No answer. But he wants to know, who has the better life now? And no one's paying attention to him. And they are to this clown. But you can fall off the tightrope. Yeah, I know. Oh boy, was that bad! So that's a flashback of the Earth, but uh, those that wanted to go to space are in these units all over the world, like where my node is. They're connected to the world wide web, linking us together, okay? That was meant so you could not have the pressures and stress of working for cash to finance yourself. Okay, the financiers have created the hotels for us. We live in it. We travel around the world on our craft. And we try to achieve a hundred points in ride points, sponsorship points, so that we can get our ride, you know. It's it's not uh, to get sponsorship right now, but that's effectively for the race car drivers, you know. They get their sponsorship, they get their car, they get their ride. So the general term, when you get your 100 points, you'll get your ride. See the text. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, my water pressure race basically went down to nothing the other day, and they said, what if you were in space? That would be recycled water, and you would have to live with that, with the, the philosophy does living in space suck? And uh, the answer is yes. Hi, good morning. Little dachshund wants like wanted to eat me, didn't But, uh, but so, so, uh, so the water pressure, now nothing, if you were in space, you could live on that much water, okay? So again, I referenced Mikhail, the astronaut. He was a cosmonaut. It went up, and uh, we had this discussion. Let's say I was out there in my spacesuit, and I was running out of oxygen. You were in a, a shelter that had oxygen, plenty of room to have a guest. Would you let me in? You know, he's a cosmonaut. And he's on the, the Russian base. He says, no. I asked the American astronaut, he said, oh, yeah. It's not that I'm American. You wouldn't be able to tell unless you really focused on him. But when it, people say, is there a difference in hospitality rules? You bet there is. Oh, my heavens. What sort of ideas are these? The guy is all over the place. I don't know what to say. I can't have it. Oh boy, was that bad. I want to talk to you today about the fever, okay? People that involve themselves in speaking with you intensely are believed to have the fever. 
Okay. I don't get it much. In my country, we went with a concept called cool people. So fever is hot. Cold is not saying much at all. And cool meant you could say it. Express yourself. Cool. Okay? That's how we expressed it. Okay? Now, we had meanings for cold and hot and cool. A uh, hot reception was where you walked right up to him and said, Hey, how you doing? I saw you standing there. Cool reception where you say, Hi over there. And you don't really go up and, and engage them in a conversation. And told us, acting like you don't even know them. When you know they both knew you were there. Both sides knew you were there. That's cold. Cool reception. Hey, what's up? I'll talk to you maybe later. That's cool. And cold. And is uh, not saying. And hot or warm is when you greet them and you engage in conversation right away. That's a warm or hot reception. You know, being uh, cool to someone in England it means, ooh, that's not, not cool because they're icy to you. That's like the standoff or something. They thought they were a cool reception. So those things are used. I'm not involved in anyone in a feverish way, okay? I don't do it. I don't know what it is. I get the, the, the like, where you die? When people want to come at you with their language, their tongue, and they want to, you know, dress you in a different, dress you down in words and stuff like that. Our reaction is to, you know, close, close it up. So, uh, so I don't have the fever, and uh, I, I don't know what to do with people that do. So, we're going to have to figure out how to get out of it if someone gives them a fever. Be cool, people. I wonder if they let Louise come into the Space Hotel to go into Space 2. Maybe they let all kinds of people like Cindy Lou come to. That would be fun. She'd have to find the Space Toy that's acceptable. You know what she did with it. She might like to pee a little bit there. And then I'll run through the process of being improved with the water pressure. <laughs> That's just funny. I have to do that. If you don't laugh, you have to try. Because I have to just try. You know, Bill, there's no Louise. There's no Cindy Lou. No one pays attention to it. So just forget it. No boy was that dead. Many people are sold on the idea that after the revolution, everything will be free. I ask you to remember that free means you have to fight with your neighbor to get stuff. Okay? In a command economy, they had lines for things like toilet paper. You see, if it were all free, the first person there would hoard the goods. They would collect all the free water bottles, all the free toilet paper, and they would control you to the sheer size of their force. Okay. I went out and saw the story today. It was full. It was wonderful. Now, I bought hot dogs, Vienna. That must be Austria. And I bought La Preferita beans with zesty salsa. Okay. Two hot dog packages, packages of eggs, and two zesty beans, Frank for beans, associated. Two games for the price is right, because when I'm at home and not doing this, I, I love to watch Drew Carey on the price is right. So, one, you have the picnic game, four items, four prices, okay? In each picnic basket, you have a meat, like a hot dog, hamburger, chicken patty, or fish. You have a bread, a bun, hot dog, hamburger, the roll, and something else for the fish. You know, the dinner roll. So, and then you have chips, and you have a drink. So each one comes with four items. So for me, the guess the price, the two hot dogs, two cans of La Prefrida, Zesty Bean. Guess the price within a dollar. Lock in the price. And that is... 1598 was your answer. I'm sorry. But, so, uh, 
I, I guess you got wrong, maybe you didn't. But uh, so uh, as far as the other game, associated purchases, the chips, potato chips, with sour cream, corn chips with cheese dip, popcorn with soda pop, and snow cats with cranberry juice. Okay, I admitted to watching it. I now come with a creative. Red Riding Hood and the, the Big Bad Wolf are moving a price. No option. Okay. Hi, Drew. Bye bye. Okay. So, as I do this, I've gone along with the YouTube channel. And I realize I've got one person that's maybe interested. And in, for interest's sake, I said, what if I just email you when the, when the YouTube channel is, is done? And the person said, okay, I guess I, I've seen something of it. Although I know since there are no hits on it yet, it's, that's a lie. But, uh, so anyway, the competitors over at Tagersoft are still saying, what's in it? What's in it? What's on it? So, uh, you know, there's no way to judge my health, my abilities, what I'm doing through the Sagersoft technology. Okay? Nobody has given me a hit or reviewed on the website, the YouTube channel that I've come up with. So, what I'm going with, for my own win, is to say, you know, a lonely 15 visitors, lonely as that might be, you know, that would indicate that I earned, say, a last place finish. When they are so scared of me over there at that site that they give me no hits, I've done what's called moon. Those players of the hearts game would know what I'm talking about, where you try to give away all your cards, and, uh, you know, if the one person takes all the hearts, they've mooned on you, you know. You, you drop the heart, you drop the heart. Oh, everybody drops all the hearts on them. They've done the moon win. So that's, uh, that's what's going to happen, because I'll get no hits, and I'll realize just how afraid people are. <laughs> okay, take care. And it's true about artists. When they die, the value of their work. Okay, this problem can't go with it. Okay, bye bye. Well, I do want to let you know about a condition called industrial disease. Many people walk around in the modern world and suffer from industrial disease. People from Japan and people from Germany want you to be industrious. They wanted to be industrious people. Now, the United States, I thought we should be productive, but not necessarily industrious, okay? What is the difference between productive and industrious? An industrious person will work very hard individually for 8 to 10 hours a day on their work. If you're productive, you might set up your machine in the morning. Have it run all day while you take a little bit of a nap, okay? At the end of the day, the person that was watching it and intensely doing it for 8 to 10 hours, and you, you're like, oh look, we have the same amount of product at the end, okay? So when you say, be like Japan and be like Germany, they do what's called the busy work thing, okay? I am not for the busy work thing. If you can set it up with a machine, if you can get it started and do it, you will produce it, okay? As long as you get the job done, I don't care how you do it. What about the big things? What about the big things? What about the little things? The little things in your heart. The big things on your mind for a great society. This guy, the negative risk analyst, my financial plan, he is just constantly attacking the United States. Well, you're a big guy. That's a little thing. That's a little thing. You're a big guy. You're modest. It's uh, this thing that we call ascribing. Putting on someone a characteristic. 
you know, they were just living the day until you decided to wreck them with a proportional issue. There's a, a rule in primitive biological world about dignity. It's physical size. Not the amount of responsibility you have, not where your ideas for a great society. Big is how big you are. Basketball players, high football players, okay? I, I happen to be a regular size person. And when they say, you're a big guy, to the folks around me that are wanting to do a little football and a little basketball, they look, where is this big guy? Looks like a regular guy to me. So, when someone does this proportion change, be aware of what they're saying. You know, ask, you know, if you can get the numbers. We had this thing at Harley, when they're making Harleys, without the numbers, your opinion is about as good as anyone else. And, and you know what the opinions are like buttholes. Everyone's got them and they don't all smell so good. Okay, so when someone plays a proportion and makes his numbers and letters, when it says something like, yeah, the three cools went out, that's a really, really red flag that uh, you put it together, you think the three good people that you thought were cool left might not be what they meant. So a proportion guy does this to you, pay attention. He's picking your pocket. That's what that financier does. Okay, later on, people. You see, Bill, I get free stuff from the authorities if I call you big and dangerous. You don't mind if I abuse you, do you? So, I just... I'm coming back from doing uh, four loads of laundry. I do my own laundry. I do my own cooking. I do my own video editing. And I write my own software. Okay. Boy, I said this and I don't have a car, I take the bus. Wait, wait, wait a minute on something. I said Tom and Gregor and Scott and Mark and Larry were comparison guys. Okay, that means anything I can say in terms of answering your questions, they look like me, they kind of act like me. We have a couple things that are different. But when you heard comparison guy, you translated into competition, and competition translated into rival. Okay, those were my friends, not my rivals or competition. There were others, Paul, of course, and... and um, with John, that John. Okay, they weren't competition. They were comparison guy. You compare Bill's answer to comparison answer to corroborate your answer. Okay, I am so sorry to these guys that said Bill is in competition with. Okay, comparison guy, if you need a second source, can you answer this the way Bill did? Not do what Bill does. Not take Bill on and say he's the lousy guy for giving me this answer. If it's different, I would have to say, well, okay, comparison guy had it the other way. Okay? That's all I'm saying about comparison guy. Work really hard. It's like, technically, if you're a customer and order a Coke and they say, all I have is Pepsi, and most people will say okay to that. Okay? Now, if you work for Coke, you say, Gosh, John, those Pepsi people are, are moving in on my market. Not what I had with comparison guys at all, okay? And, uh, and Bob and everything. So, okay, please, please try to figure out what it means in, in your language, in your mouth, in your tongue. On the word comparison guy. Thanks. I'm saying is, hey, ask anyone. They'll tell you the same thing. Don't know. I'm telling you, don't know. So, uh, what uh, I'm in with on the streets, I'm at a Dunkin' Donuts under an elevated train. So, you know, anything can come, anything can happen at, at any time here. So, try to get it out fast. Arabica, espresso on the wall. Here's the double D. Love it. Uh, it's not espresso. I call it a Colombian on reserve. A cup of coffee. 
They know the drug people, you know, you know, use the prophylactic to prevent sexual transmitted disease. Totally clean guy. But anyway, I'm in uh, with the Imagine Dragons, huh? I'm radioactive, I'm radioactive. So anyway, I really do feel that right now. And on the street, I saw a guy, I knew him. I knew him from uh, when he was a painter, you know, years ago. And he's like, you probably see me as some. I knew who it was. I said, it's Billy, you might not know. So anyway, they're on, and the call right now was Panthers and the Cubs. We're just going with Cubs right now. City's an exciting place. I hope you get into it. Okay, you know, many people, they see this, they say, what are you doing with this note show? You don't have a whole lot of contact with people. You always like, well, I see this place every day. It's my social beacon. I love the beacon. Hello, beacon people. Anyway, they had a, a psychiatrist there, and uh, many people say, you say so much on your show, I can't wait until you see the your doctor. Let me just say what happened. I really do. You know that. So uh, what they do is, every sentence, they ask themselves, what medicine is that, okay? When they ask themselves that, each sentence is a medicine, okay? This is not a social psychologist. I'm not a person that would ask another human being, like a psychoanalyst or a social psychologist, to tell me the big pieces of my life. See, bad person, don't bad person, that's big to you. I just don't have it, okay? This is the new breed of doctor. You know, international people that say you should see somebody like a doctor, they're not going to do anything of the kind. It's not a horse doctor. It's not a witch doctor. It's a person that can give you a medicine to feel better. It's Western medicine in the United States. We're the greatest medical country in the world, and that's how it works, okay? Some people have to say, you know, the person is a human being, but that's not what we do here, okay? Hello, Beacon. Bye-bye, people. It said everybody sees somebody for something. It's called anti-stigma. International people don't get it yet. No stigma, no stigma. This is the meat episode. What is the meat of the issue? Okay. You put any meat into a grinder, you make hamburger. People around me, they say, Bill, you can't do what you want to do. The trick is, people used to make payments for coins, and uh, they didn't have an opening out. That's stupid. You can't take money out of it. You can't just screw a cap and get the money out of it. What you had to do was a piggy bank, a real one made in the heartland, is you had to smash the pig to get the money. What they wanted to teach about that was if you want bacon, you've got to kill that pig that you love. Okay? So, a lot of people talk about starving Africans and people in New Guinea and all these islanders that used to be cannibals. Some people are descendants of cannibals. Some people in a crisis will eat people. So I just would like you to know that those that eat meat would at one time maybe like to eat your liver. I hope that doesn't happen. Well, I wanted to add one more thing on my soapbox about my cause, which is treatment of people that think different, okay? I'm all for this. I love it. I love people that think different. It was a movement started long ago by our friend Steve Jobs. It was helped along by the whole PC generation. And what the, the name of the game about think different is that treatment works, okay? If you have a problem, you're thinking different, and someone can hey, wait a minute, you're just a little too out there. You know, you can get treatments for it. People that think different are going to hurt you, okay? By and large, people that think different will think about it and not do things to harm you. The people that you have to worry about are the desperate individuals that aren't thinking about it, you see. That can happen with our discussion of what we call the industrial disease. 
thank you. And remember, to support people that advocate treatment works programs all over the state and the nation. Guys in the Council, thank you for using the other angle. Thank you for using the other camera. Uh, and I'll see the words. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. The challenge was in. Tom comes up to me in college. Mr. Dad, what do you do? And he says, you can't make a rotation by pushing up and down. So I set about to try to do it. Hello. This is an example of a linear propulsion gear. I'm pushing up and down on the foot pedal, the gear rotates, and you're able to produce rotation. This is the basis of LPG. Here we have a car using LPG gearing to move. It uh, uses uh, the foot pedal to produce rotation on a gear. That gear will then connect to the axle to make it go. Here we have a gearbox with a loose fitting post. See how the foot pedal goes and the gear then rotates. Hello. This is a torque producer test. You can build one at home in about 10 minutes. You have all the parts. Good luck. This thing fascinating. Right there, that's a chicken box. Skin was boneless chicken breast. That's why it's the chicken box called. So, each drum, single gear. This is the parts for the center board for the linear propulsion gear mechanism. You have the center board with a spindle gear, the spindle gear post. Connector rods and a tow clip. These join together to produce linear propulsion and the monster boy who would like it. This is an LPG cycle. It goes by pushing your foot up and down, and as you can see, the prime mechanism, the minor rotator, rotates the gear to drive the rear gear. Some of the problems that can happen if you don't measure with precision is that you can be light, the reach doesn't reach all the way to the end, or the throw won't work. You have to properly place the pinwheel gear. Here it is, people, your complete turbo coil diagram with everything, including the minor rotator and the turbo coil. If you can build this, they will come. Calling all engineers, build this vehicle. God says it will work. Okay, everyone should, where do you put the post? So this demonstrates the placement of the spindle gear post, okay? This is really on the outside rung, and it's easier to push up and down the farther out it is. You have to go in if you want to get your speed. So a sliding post, some sort of other scheme would work if it, that were the only way you had to gear it. But you can gear that and you can gear the rear. So hopefully someone will play add on engineering. Thank you. That's putting something on a basic design. Okay. So. Well, for my calculations, I can go up and down with my foot between three and five times a second without even really working hard. That works out to be a three up down a second. That's 180 rotations per minute. So that's 180 RPM. Not 1,000, it's 100. 180 RPM. Some of the problems that can happen if you don't measure with precision is that you can be light. The reach doesn't 
reach all the way to the end. Or the throw won't work. You have to properly place the pinwheel gear. Okay, this is it. This is a car called the Saturn Sky. We don't make them too much anymore, but this would be a convertible design of how to use a foot pump orbital centripetal <laughs> foot pump orbital centripetal method to do this. Okay, it's really fun to do. That is the pump and let go, you know. Kick it off to start and just go. With gearing and everything, it'd be a wonderful way to have a bike car. Just like Fred Flintstone wanted. Maybe it's just better to leave it as something called a go-kart that goes with your foot. Cars scare people, bikes scare people. But it will be fun, I don't like to not here, to race foot pump kind of. Oh, great. I love these. They're the note show. So, about contract films and people's personal films. If someone works on a project with you and says, you will get paid when I sell the film to cable or some other outlet, you are not getting paid. Okay. The only people that get paid in Hollywood or anywhere else they make films are those people that have a contract. Contract film actors and actresses make a living by acting on camera. Your image or likeness may be captured by a camera anywhere at any time. In public this is called legal use of your image. You do not own your image. It is light captured by a camera at any time. Should people use this in a contract film, this is called not legal. But you are not making a contract film unless you and others have contracts to act in the film. There seems to be some confusion on this right now with people that have come in from other countries and are promised things to act on film. Be advised this happens. The other issue is the Photoshop picture for blackmail. A picture of a man with another man in bed may cause extortion to the person's wife to have to pay for such things to avoid the embarrassment of her husband. That is a procedure known as liar's blackmail. It was easy with still pictures, but people caught on to that with Photoshop. Now the technology in California goes on to simulate full motion sex, gay and straight, however they want it, to blackmail someone into a divorce. That is what they want unless they get paid the people love their spouses and they don't want to give up their relationship for a liar's blackmail guy with high-tech equipment. I am not the guy who pointed it out. And the last point is, if someone wants to point out some of the bad in society, there's a phrase they use in, in other languages called, he who smelt it, dealt it. Or he who smelled it, dealed it, you see. That means if someone points out there's something wrong or says you won't get paid, that person is blamed for doing this and having caused it. This rages all over the world. Things like an exposing article in the paper, on TV, or on the Internet is an invitation for others to copy this particular crime. That is a true problem with an open press and things that, that we discuss in an open society. When people say, it's a free country, 
They mean do it within reason. When there are problems, we like to discuss it. Thank you. Don't believe everything that you see and only contract them with your pain. Oh, this is great. Another note show. Awesome, dude. Hi. I was raised on a attended nanny camp, like many kids. And uh, we had a video editor, and that's how I got some of these ideas. Now, the thing is about that stuff, when your mom and dad check on the video, a lot of times they'll say, give me the good part. Was there any special parts? I'm a nanny cam, webcams, all that stuff. And uh, my parents, and they said, I know he's a good kid. We don't want to see anything good. Just give me the bad part. Not just the bad part. The worst possible part that happened in the guy's life. Well, I'm a lot older than webcams and nanny cams now. But when you, when you want to talk to my family, anyone in my family, the issue is, you better be prepared to talk about the worst possible thing that happened in the day. They didn't know what to do at first. It seemed like a fine day. So they asked, could you say something cold to, to the people? Would you be insulting? What is it in war? Be cold? And they right directed to me so they, they could have something cold to tell them. So when they added it all up, they go, this is the coldest person on the face of the earth. Nobody should believe such things. Oh, boy, was that tough. One other thing. So, uh, what should happen? So, to, uh, boy, I forgot that thought. I'll have to get back to you in a second. So, yeah, the other thing was, they have, uh, you know, that song, sex. And relationships, food and sex, and drugs and feces. Okay, so those are the only legitimate reads in an invisible society. About the sex thing, the sex people, you know, female sexuality, male sexuality, the hot room, the video, the person, you know, the sex worker sitting there, the lab coach, you know, the two guys sitting there going, okay, who's the bigger man if I could stop you? don't stop you, would you remove these items of clothing and judge for yourself? That's the hot room waiting room without playing with the sex worker sitting with them. And then the lab goes. So much college students are getting hot rooms and sex and these square guys and these store and border guys, we don't have a chance. Dad wanted to be nerd. We bought soapy sisters to do the babysitting on the webcam. Man. Soapy sisters can't deal with with the hot room and sex girls. Just don't do it. Don't do it to me. He was right. Everybody went to live on the resort, sandals and beaches. Yeah, we laughed. We heard you were young and sexy. Let's do it the work thing. So, the belief in monotheism ended in the United States in 2017. People from all over the world wanted to know why you talk so much. They wanted to me to be a big mouth. So to kill the Jew, as they say in Germany, because Bill was past cattle. Where's the Bill's Jewish? Okay, I went and I had my epiphany about life and sharing things and religious values and I accepted some things about being a nice person. Okay, so when it all came down to it, you brought your Germans in and you said, analyze this because he designed a car part. What is Bill? He's not Bill, he's Judah. Judah, I'm too. Voice is awesome. So, the thing is, when you say, Judah, it's not just, oh, well, Bill's Jewish, because you want to have something called happiness for the Jewish people, and Bill's a nice guy, so you just happen to mention it. Okay, I'm not hiding it, but when you go to Germany, the country of Germany, and you say, oh, Bill's Jewish, it still rings as a reminder of the violence that took place 
in Germany on the Jews and the after effect of the starving German people, who to this day are starved intellectually, emotionally, and socially by Jewish Israel. Okay? I've tried to reach out and I've tried to make sure people are faithful to Germany. But the Jewish people in Israel detest Germany. And so going to them and saying, what is this auto? Because they would like to have some slaves build a linear propulsion gear cycle farming for them or me. Just is wrong. So I have things to do. But if you Yuda, Ahtu to you, get off my frequency. Those days of monotheism, calling Jesus God and all that, are over. Mind your own damn business about international Mastersoft, the translation file, Mastersoft thing for the whole world, capture the ideas, the essence, the going for concepts. As discussed, the German people are wrong and false and need to be removed from the Mastersoft safe list. Okay? They are no longer on the Mastersoft safe list. The Russians barely hang on as the communists who do not believe in any god. They should know I have the feelings about agnostic people that did go right along the line with keep it under the dome, the obelisk, the beautiful shape of the buildings near the Kremlin in downtown Moscow, those structures were to indicate whatever is on top, you can have a cross on it, a crescent or nothing, you can have a star on it, that is to indicate your head is like an obelisk. What's in your head and what's, what's in your group is not for you. Make a beautiful top for them, you see, and then you can all share in it. So, the point of all this international stuff is that is it the way that things are said? When you say it aloud, you bring it to life, okay? I've attempted to bring it to life my way. You've attempted to bring it to death. You didn't have the concept. You didn't have the interest in it. But you said what I said wrong. So, what your assignment is, is to get the film Caddyshack and to get the film Monty Python in the Holy Grail. There's the complete skit, and uh, Scott can get you a copy of the script. Barry can get you a copy of the script. I want you to read for that. Put it in your sound. The kid's just learning to learn English. It is in the hole. Okay, things like that. The Dalai Lama had the flowing robes. You see, that's everything that you hear like that. What is your favorite color? blue, no yellow. That is how I'm heard everywhere in the country, the people that don't see this. Okay? So, who would I want to do it in this country? Bill. Bill Maher. Bill Moyers. Bill Murray. Bill Gates. Okay? Those are four good bills. Okay? But if they hear the kids say it, and they hear it textualized, translated into Hebrew, and whitewashed back into Hebrew and English from Hebrew, and then you're translated into German and back to English. Who would care what it said? You've missed everything that I've said to do is the, the piano tuner of you. Okay, bye-bye. You anti-Semites won't kill Bill. You won't kill him. He's going to win. Boy, that's going with the international league. The guy's brilliant. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I do know it's I love my notes. So I'm watching TV. Meet the Press came on. It's okay. It's on another channel. It's not price. The Director of Health and Food and Services came on. Talking about the new house pass repealing of Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act. So I wanted to just tell you how I talked about health care. First of all, what we knew before was that when it's individually paid, you get what you're paying for in insurance. We knew, Barack knew, Joe knew, the President and Vice President knew that the young, healthy people would pay a bit more. Okay? We knew that going in. We knew that if the government specified what should be covered by health care, we would be able to cover people in the way that they grew acceptable to them. Okay? No one can sit through one of those policy discussions and know that everything's covered. It's a regulation, yes it is, 
But because it's regulated, people know what they're getting. Is pr- pregnancy covered, maternity coverage, is recovered from alcoholism covered. Any is uh, you know, diabetes covered, you know, the test, things like that. So anyway, if you have a pre existing condition, diabetes, MS, anything heart murmur, anything like that, you paid over eight hundred dollars a month for health care. If you could get it if you could get it. So other people, healthy people, they paid about 200 So it became unacceptable to have people pay exactly that for their countrymen, for their families. They were willing to accept the Affordable Care Act. Okay? So when it's changed back so you get what you pay for, that's the whole reason government was allowed to do health care to make sure people with conditions got up. When you say it's going to go bad, then you're going to have a whole lot of people without health care. I call this walking over. You see, you have to walk over the person that's held down because they don't have health care and they're sick on your road to work so you can get to your job and get your own health care. You're a walk over person. I hope, I support millennials and struggling for every dollar, but some of us, we still can and I've got one last thing. It's not that you'd have it. It's just a matter of paying for it. You don't want it at all. You're just that close. So says he wants everyone covered by health care. He doesn't want it the old way where people get it or don't get it. They have to walk over bodies to go to work to get it. Oh, good. Oh, good. Another no-show. I was waiting all day for this. You know, I just, when he does these, he's so brilliant. He's so brilliant. There was an old TV show called Fantasy Island. Herbie Villachez used to say, The plane, the plane. He said it in a funny way as he was a very small person and quite a very large person. Stand. Mr. Rourke was uh, the director of Fantasy Island. Should we have escape places? for people that have achieved their wealth and success. We have resorts, international that has places that everything is safe. The first example of these was the luxury high rise in New York City in the United States. People would go, complete classes of people would disappear 30 people at a time on the floor, 40 people, and they would go, and they would live in a luxury highway. The word for this was sealing up, okay, you sealed up, okay, that's what you left with, that's what you had, you were happy. The rest was just acquiring food, and you could get people, they would run in and out with the food. Others got more creative after the tower seal up, and they began to build resorts that were beautiful in the islands and all over the world, you know, from Mexico to Australia. So the world was up on resorts international. Those folks finished working, okay? Many of them still vote, apparently. They'll get an absentee ballot sent to them, and they'll, they'll vote. Why would they care about working class people? They wouldn't. They wouldn't at all. They wouldn't comprehend the struggles of people. They wouldn't comprehend how difficult it is to make their way to a new place to set things up. They are protectionist in the fact that everybody knew would probably want to take away their lifestyle. Okay? This goes on all over the country. They're complete towns that have been financed by wealthy people, and they feel others would take away what they have. So the battle between the super rich and the uh, struggling working class people goes on, okay? Many people didn't know what should happen at this place called work, okay? We have to have food brought in, and I've encouraged people that around my parts to get involved somehow in the food chain, okay? The rest, the toys and entertainment, that's a luxury that people love. 
Okay, so when you do feel up, plan to know how you're going to entertain yourself all day other than making fun and abusing poor people and working with them. Thank you. So they used to have this thing internationally. Does that place eat people? That way they knew they were stealing up. Don't steal up gold. Know what you're going to do. They said he was as smart as any doc. He kept him into trouble on occasion. Doctor says, don't take me out. Didn't want to. Love to care. So you, you got to try to listen to this cycle. Good. It's going to you. Okay, I have to be honest. I have diabetes. Okay. Diabetes is a condition where your pancreas doesn't produce enough insulin for your body to control its blood sugar. What is affected on the body? First of all, people with diabetes get sick a lot. They have to go to the doctors. They get colds. They get headaches. They get all kinds of things. Take what your nation occurs, okay? The main thing that, that happens is that you can lose circulation because the plaque build up on your arteries. Uh, it's been known to, to cause feet to be required to be amputated, and if enough plaque builds up, the pressure on your heart gets to be too great, and you would die of a heart attack, okay? The uh, people with diabetes live about five years less than people without it, by and large. People want to know, how does the pancreas know how to produce enough insulin to regulate sugar? I have a theory. They say, don't study the pancreas, then then we'll all be cold. They work on insulin pumps. They work on tests with the wash and on stitch. They work on better test strips and meters. But they never really wanted to figure out how does the pancreas work. Starting on that really, really angers the medical community. It's like the perfect condition for that. If you have it, you go to doctors for 20 years. No one is cured of it. But they watch it over and over, so you have to go to the doctor, you have to get your medicine, and not many people have to take their shot. It's very costly to the healthcare system, but doctors are willing to do that to make a little money to be cynical. They do help the people that have, but if, the, if it were cured, they would lose all those patients. So my theory, how does the body know when to do it? Well, when you eat products that have sugar in it, the Insulin, the carbon chain, C6, H1206, and then the complex carbon, combined with sulfur and a couple other elements to produce insulin. So, what well, my theory is, you have fat in your pancreas. So, as the sugar enters the pancreas, through the normal process of the bloodstream, the digestion goes there, it recognizes, not by anything digital processing, but that chemical combines with the sulfur and the other elements. If you look at the chemical composition of insulin, you'll see what's in it. It has the carbon chain, often known as sugar, combined with other elements. So that chemical is sitting in the, in the pancreas, combined, fills the squirt sac, and it squirts. So as much sugar as there is, that will produce exactly the amount of insulin required to squirt. Fill, extra elements mix. As the sack is big, you know, that's when it, it knows it mechanically that it squirts. So it's, it, it, it contracts like other parts of your body, like a passing urine, for example. That's what's good. So, good luck to the doctors and the American Diabetes Association. I, I do collect a, an FSDI check for my diabetes. I know this work sounds pretty pretty good to you, but I, I do have to go. So I'm going to turn me in for saying it's my head that's messed up. You'd be mistaken. Yeah, yeah, just for that. Just for having diabetes. If you work for 12 years, you get to go on SSDI. Deal with it. Really cool, man. Oh, no, it's controversial. Oh, no, it's controversial. It's politics. It's taxes. Oh, my God. He's still smart. That's fine. Well, I had to make one more comment. I wanted to get this on the record for people so they know exactly what's going on in the, the political world that I care about. The issue of the corporate tax rate comes up. There's the example. It's going to take your thinking capture just the same. 
Okay, everybody. The word for the children is cooperation. Can you believe they taught them the word cooperation? The word about civil disobedience and non-compliance. That's it. I told you the big one. But the key word was cooperation. So our governor in this day wanted to not cooperate. And we're done cooperating with him. We're going to term limit him. J.B. Pritzker, governor. Uh, so that's a different story. The issue is the corporate tax rate. So what is the corporate tax rate? Okay. If you set it at 100%, you would win for everybody involved. The higher the tax rate, the more businesses have to operate in every quarter of which to do business. Okay. This is the example. This is what it is. Try to stay with me. Strangling business is not going to happen. So you work in the quarter, and you say you've got a hundred extra, in thousands if you wish, and you say, what should I do before tomorrow when the quarter expires? Let's say you order new computers, or you had Paul go out and paint the front door. Paint everything up there for the full price of the hunter. Now, when the tax man comes and says, what did you make in profit? You say, I spent everything I had, sir. Your tax is zero. It doesn't matter that the tax is 100%. You invested in that quarter, and your value increases in your property, plant, and equipment, but you don't have to pay any taxes. You invested in the society that you knew in the quarter in which you do business. Now, when you promise the government that you're a business, you promise that you want to make a profit every quarter you do business. The making of an empire by storing money and storing money is criminal and illegal. It was once believed that having a safe nation, have a nation well patrolled with good roads and highways and good hospital care for people was important to all the people that work there. Okay? When you say it's an empire business that you're smarter than everyone else, well, I have to apply the law. Now, if you want to change the law and you want to have the amusement park people run everything as beautifully as they do, we love the amusement park, love to say the name, but they would really get me these other amusement parks. So I think you know which amusement park has the best reputation. Big mice and everything. So, uh, so that thing about amusement parking is what each business tries to do now without paying for the country that might have a defense issue with them in terms of bombing a country from people that work there and do really good work. So thank you, and I hope that uh, you get this and the political issue notwithstanding between J.B. and Bruce. Okay, bye-bye. So, high corporate tax rate, low personal tax rate, businesses operate in a quarter, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to tell us, I just know there's no special issue anyway. Don't you discuss what is academic matter? Because, yeah, definitely. Okay. So, the issue of may a man like myself speak in an instructive fashion comes up. I have a bachelor's degree in computer engineering from Michigan. I have a student background in my master's program in business administration. Was your business administration master's completed? No, no it wasn't. I got about a third of the way through, but I did not complete the final capstone course. So I have my accounting, my marketing, my finance, my information management courses, but I did not finish. So, so when people say, tell us about something, I use the style that I grew accustomed to in my undergraduate program and my graduate program in business administration. I come from a, a family that was academic. My mother was a lawyer and my father was a PhD. So the PhD in the family would be my father. I don't imitate my father. I, I rely on my own academic background. Okay. So the issue is, did you go cold to people with a degree PhD? 
I have a, a, an experience that would lead me to understand and comprehend fully what it means. I support the PhD who completed the bachelor's degree and or a master's and then the PhD, but not the master's without the bachelor's. You got to complete everything to me. Bachelor's, master's, and PhD to comprehend this lot. Okay, there are people that say, well, I didn't get the bachelor's, but you're supposed to assume, and I don't, that they could have. No, they couldn't. One of the requirements of being an undergraduate in colleges such as myself would be the calculus requirement. Okay, I finished all of my calculus. Okay, so those folks that say, well, I could have, they didn't. Okay, it means to me that if you're a bachelor's uh, holder, you have not just your head, you're a person, the wife isn't the person, you're the person as well, and they're a person, you're a person, and uh, they also have their hands to the work in progress. A PhD says to you, well, I once worked really intensely with my head and my hands, and now I will just think and instruct the bachelors as to what to do. This couldn't be farther from the truth. In terms of the medical degree, the six-year program that leaves students with a medical degree but no bachelor's troubles me. You see, that life doesn't comprehend why I go through life the way I do. Why doesn't he just sit there, blah, blah, blah? Why is he doing things? Okay, the issue is, and this is really the, the point I wanted to make, the, the PhD and the, the people that never attended college say, aren't you just going through the masquerade? of life. No. I'm living life with vital importance and knowing that the decisions I make and the processes I undertake will be in central focus to the nature of living well for all people, improving society and, and being being there when things happen. Okay? I don't go through the mastery of life PhDs that have the bachelor's degree as well as the master's and PhD. They're, they're, they're really good with me. Okay? So when, when I speak and most PhDs hear me, if it's not a smile on your face, you're just a masquerader. And if someone going through that, that doesn't fully comprehend it. So if you have to ask somebody what he is, make sure they have a bachelor's degree at least. Thank you. And no other degree. No, not other degree that covers it, no. Listen, Doc, you may be a doc and you may be smart, but you don't have your bachelor's, and you don't comprehend anything about them. You're a master rager through life. Okay, in our last episode, we discussed academics. This is the music talk. Don't fake me out. Okay, shut it here. Enjoy. Okay, so about composing your day, the music talk has got to happen. So this is uh, about uh, the documents that follow us in life. That, that we have a written record of ourselves. So, the Torah, the Torah, it's written in blood. Everyone know it will survive the flood. It's backed up on a memory stick. It's backed up so you know you can sit, look around, and see what you find. The Torah, the Torah, it's written in blood. If you took pills, why should we pay? Everyone knows it's there till you gray. The Torah, the Torah, it's written in blood. If you broke up with your last wife, everyone knows you're going to get knife. Torah, the Torah, it's written in blood. Everyone knows you're up to no good. What about the girl? Didn't do much. She finished her school, and she says she's in touch. That's what she does. She calls with each week. Not doing much. I'm involved with the store. Everybody knows she's one great bore. Pay her, pay her. The tour is so good. Don't you know she just eats her food? Okay, everybody. That's the good song about Dora. But you see, things they change with cross and you see. Everyone knows the Muslims are free. Everyone knows people do dance. Everyone knows the world takes a chance. No, 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 the Torah is so good. We don't have to pay for your shoes. Everyone knows we don't pay for lives that are not good. The Torah, the Torah, everyone knows. 
everyone know we only buy good shows. Goodbye, everybody. One last thing. Okay, watch TV last night. Porn dancing show, Creative Gotham. Okay, people talking about politics on the tonight of our city stuff. Okay, I just freaked out. They had a there's some Millie Bobby Brown thing and her kids that won it won an award. And uh, the game the name of the game is Yes. What uh, you had to do is so with your millennial, you get twenty questions to try to get eleven yeses. In twenty questions and you get eleven yeses. I freaked out, I apologize because I realized I couldn't get one yes out of any millennial. They wouldn't say yes to one thing I would ask them. Even if I tailored it, I do you want to say no to me? Yeah, they would say no, okay? But all the responses I would get out of the good millennial kids would be the word no. And I, I don't want to see them. I don't want to know them. I'm not trying to tell them anything about life. Bill does not want to see anybody or tell anybody anything. He wanted a written record, and he wanted a video record, who the guy was. You can sort of see his face, and he says things that people used to think were cold and important. Okay, not trying to reach those people, not trying to change those folks at all. <laughs> but uh, in terms of being a show, the no show, you know, I would be just the straight man anyway. And then the, the Louise characters and the Cindy Louise Parker's characters, or whatever the but the nosy Parker's characters. That's the comedy, and you know, if there were a, a hidden message from what what the no show was saying with the Bill character. It all works in, it all smooths over. But um, who replaced Bill is it is he is uh, supposed to be that, that relief from boy, this is all really stupid. You know, if there's a relief there to that, that adds some wisdom, uh, maybe maybe you're gonna reach an extra gotcha. But I fully understand, fully understand that uh, if you call this porn and you call this informant and you call money it's Whatever it is, it's just to, it's to, no, it has an audience of three people that I know, okay. Glad you saw it. Maybe I know you. Well, some people work with their hands, and some people are knowledge workers. Work with their mind. Some people have process law. Some people have use law. Process law makes cookies. Use law eats cookies. Got it. Hi. Right. The north and the south side develops along with the west side of the city. We have a difference amongst people. And let me explain what it is. I don't judge people on this, but it's true. Should people do anything for themselves, or should they buy the services of someone else? If it snows, should you shovel your own snow, or buy someone's services to shovel the snow for you? My people that I was raised with said, snows? You get a shovel, and you shovel off the snow. It snows a lot where I live. So the other group of people says, for a few dollars, you can buy the neighbor, or you can buy a plow guy, and they will plow everything for you. Okay? That is the difference between acquiring the services for something instead of doing it by paying for it and doing it yourself. So... If you say there's all the same about groups of people, that's not correct. <clears throat> every religion, every race, has the God that buys it and the God that does it himself. Okay? That's what that is. And uh, when you apply the standards for people that are working to do software and work on the, the computer, it's the same issue. When they said they did it, they may have arranged to have it done. That's what they, how they did it. And that shows the acceptability of different methods to solve problems with your head. 
I enjoy the, the, the labor of the computer. So this is the one more point. What are you in terms of work? I didn't work as a plumber, electrician, a road builder, a bricklayer. Okay? When I went to school, I learned to be a knowledge worker. Where should a building be? Where should a park be? What should the software that we have do? Okay, the programs. Should we build these things called cell phones, small devices? Will it run the operating system we have now? Okay, what should we do with a place called the cloud? Okay, I work on all of those issues with the society. I am a knowledge worker. It won't be getting a job as a plumber, an electrician, or a bricklayer, okay? That's not what's going to happen. As I've discussed my health care, this needs to be translated into Serbian because they, they don't understand how you say he does so much work. After all, there's no new buildings and there's no new plumbing done, and that's it. So explain in Serbian what people do in this country. Well, I'm not one. Thank you. Okay, got it. Some people shovel or snow or do for themselves. Other people are raised or paid to have it done. Not a shot of religion. Oh, good. Another no show. They're so fidgety. Stop fidgeting. Okay, they're professional rigid spinners and amateurs. That's just awful. Okay, I will attempt. This is the, the fidget spinner, the homemade one. The cat fell off. And you, you can hold it like this. And this is fun. You spin it on here like that. Now you go to the kid way, which is between the two fingers. And I'm pummel fingers when the camera's on. But that's what excites the people about the fidget spinner. If you had the glitter top, and then the, the, the other pieces. This is a fine spinner. I love going like that. So I'm kind of like, sorry for your 40 seconds you in that. As we say in the fancy suburbs, if you're going to fidget, fidget well. <laughs>